Right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Well, good evening, afternoon, wherever it is in your world. It is uh, 16th of September here, Sunday. And I'm um, just going to go through some quick, quick, quick new zero issues that I got this week. Okay. And among them are Batgirl, Batman, Batman and Robin, and Superboy. Okay. And just a quick added addition as well. I just want to show you something, right? I went and bought this as well at the same time and it's the same issue um, but as you can see it has no artwork on it apart from obviously the title itself and so when I asked um, one of the guys in the comic book shop what's all this about he said well Marvel themselves have been doing this for quite some time and they, they sort of test it, tested it out themselves and it works really well in that if you buy a copy of these and you go to some sort of like convention or signing or something and the artist is there well they can, they can actually do a sketch on on the front or even check it out on the back as well so um, yeah I was quite impressed with that so uh, I'm going to keep it and I may may give this away at some point so keep your eyes peeled I'm hoping to do a competition at some point later on this year um, no idea when what it's going to involve but just watch your space, okay? Anyway, so let's crack on, shall we? Right, so Batgirl Zero. Gail Simone has actually outdone herself, is all I'm going to say. Um, we go back four years ago, so um, if you count obviously last year being the launch of the New 52, that's three years previously, um, which was when she talks about in the first issue of Batgirl, she just mentions that you know she's miraculously recovered from the uh, injury that she sustained from being shot by the Joker. Um, so this one is pretty much four years previously, and um, we get a good look as to how she starts as Batgirl. Um, you know she's doing some sort of assignment for for for, for college. Um, her dad, Commissioner James Gordon. Well, at the time he was he still commissioner. I think he might have been lieutenant at the time or even captain. Let me just double check. Um, da, da, da. no 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 he was yeah he was commissioner that's fine yeah so um, she uh, you know she, she she's invited to the station to you know learn a bit about what, what they do and all that sort of stuff and the bat suit catches her eye um, so at this point Batman is a myth sort of sort of so to say, but the um, the police department have drafted up a costume of you know what what people have described how he looks kind of thing. Um, so they've sort of made their own you know put put a costume of their own together, and that's what interests back uh, uh, Barbara at, at this point. And as I say, the way that the story goes, it's it is just phenomenal. The writing is amazing. That the the artwork by Ed Beans is just awesome. I'm not going to show anything too much from here because I want you guys to read this for yourself because I'm hearing so many good things about this that many people are actually saying that it's probably the best comic book that they have read not just all week or all month but all year that's how awesome it is and um, I'm inclined to agree because it is just fantastic and the ending the end shot in particular wow it really does come together and there is there are some revelations here of what's to happen over the next year or so regarding Batgirl and, and Barbara especially anyway so um, but yeah fantastic as always so well done Gail and thank you very much so that's that one um, next we move on to Batman now again uh, um, we're going back again for, 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 for Bruce Wayne here I think if I, if I just try and I'll just take a quick flick through again from when I read it and um, yeah he's a uh, kite just try to picture um, Batman Begins in some sense um, in the way that he trained the way that he uh, you know tested out his gadgets and stuff there's there's bits of that in here um, but the way that the comic book itself actually opens it's not in the way that I actually expected I have to admit not the way that I expected at all um, just yeah just awesome that's all I can say um, very very awesome unique and it's just Bruce Wayne all over basically um, Alfred is uh, you know 
doing his usual thing as he does is, as Alfred. And um, but like I say, you know, James Gordon visits Bruce Wayne at one point as well. Um, at this point, he is still he's now lieutenant. So this was I mean, we'll, how far are we going here? This is what six years ago. So well before he became Batman. Um, it it does. I mean, everyone's been asking. Oh, if he's only been Batman for five years, what what's happened over over the course of this time, that and the other, you know, like with Dick, Jason, and um, and Tim, and every every question that everyone has answered about that, that everyone has asked rather is about that is answered in this issue, and especially to do with Jason, Tim, and Dick. So again, not gonna show any 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 pictures or anything or say too much about it, but. Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, again, fantastic job, honestly. This really, I'll tell you what, these zero issues are just getting more and more interesting. So far, probably Batgirl and Batman and a couple of others that I read last week have been, you know, the, these two in particular have been outstanding so far, and it's just amazing to understand how Bruce evolves as Batman from when he first started. Yeah. <laughs> but like I say, when you read that, all your questions that you've asked they've pretty much been answered um, now we've got Batman and Robin now this was probably my 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 interest in well the, the one that I really wanted to read anyway because I love Damian Wayne I love what they've done with him the kid is just unreal basically he's unpredictable he is pretty much a weapon okay and that is how he is depicted in this issue you see it from when he was first born um, with, with with Talia, the way that, that she brings him up, teaches him the ways of, you know, the League of Shadows and all that sort of stuff, or the League of Assassins, whichever you want to call it. Um, he wants to find out who his father is. Um, you know, Talia is saying, eventually you'll, you'll find out who he is, you'll, you'll get to meet him. Um, and she's, you know... She, He's fighting at a very young age. I mean, the kid must be, what, two, three years old? And already he's learning how to fight and everything. And just, there's, there's, a, there's a very cute picture of him. Um, but I'm not going to say what he's doing. But it's just very cute. You have to see it again for yourself. Um, but, um, but as he gets older, he gets stronger. He gets more and more agile, more and more aware of you know, his surroundings. He's, he's very, very quick. He's sharp. He's strong. And he is brutal. Above all of that, he is brutal, and his instincts top notch. I mean, now we know why he is the way he is, um, and this issue pretty much gives you the idea as to why Damien is the way that he is. And the end shot, I just absolutely loved the end because it just sort of—it's it's as if to say, "Hi, Dad," <laughs> but in the way that he speaks to, to, to Bruce it's just unbelievable it really is and it's just blimey um, yeah she's obviously T Talia Hasley ha obviously has some sort of plan in place for Damien um, but what it is is yeah again once you've read this you do get a bit of an idea as to what she's planning kind of thing just yeah <laughs> fantastic as always so that was brilliant um, Superboy as you all know obviously uh Scotty Lobdell is no longer doing Superboy, so this one's from Tom DeFalco. Um, so as we as we this this one was quite interesting as well because it delves in a bit more about you know the clone known as Superboy, and we go back to hit hundreds of years ago on Krypton. We learn about the particular clones that were created on Krypton. Why when um, in the first few issues of Superboy, Supergirl attacked Superboy because she understood what him being a clone meant. Um, that he was pretty much an abomination. That it was his re that the clones, you know, when when she lashed out at him, he even tried to think, well, what what was that all about? And this issue tells you exactly what they're all about. Why the clones or Superboy. Um, is seen as an abomination, at least in Supergirl's eyes. Um, the scientists who put put Superboy together were not aware of, you know, the history and such. But the only person who knew about it 
is the guy who's pretty much um, taught me throughout the comic is uh, Harvest if you remember him from the f- for previous 12 issues um, of Superboy throughout the entire series um, he was like the, the hidden leader of nowhere so to speak um, he was one that pretty much brought together the DNA for for, uh, for Superboy um, he he's watched he's been watching him and you know seeing what he's all about um, and you know they they you know as I say the story goes back to like the first issue of Superboy we get some more inside information um, you know we're running through like the the virtual reality test that Superboy was running through through from uh, Caitlin Fairchild and a particular one of where he's with Rose and they walk past his burning building and there's a woman in there screaming for help um, and Rose is trying to figure out why, not Rose even, Caitlin is trying to figure out why he's just ignored that woman, you know, why and then Harvest later reveals why that is the case um, I'm not, again not going to say anything more but it is pretty brutal, it is pretty interesting the way that um, Harvest is uh, training Superboy so to speak um, so yeah he's definitely got a bigger plan in place obviously um, we know that he wasn't able to, to you know, bring him onto his um, his cult um, that, that he was preparing them for at the Ravagers and such um, but again I think he has got another plan in place for Superboy so very interesting to see exactly where that goes but like I say that's all of them there for you um, I'll be getting some more next week um, I don't actually know what's out next week but I'll find out and when I do yes I will be talking about them as always anyway that's it for me um, I am now going to well probably go back to sleep or wake up a bit more this time anyway enjoy your weekend well I hope you've all had a lovely weekend anyway and I'll see you all very soon bye